from Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It is game number 77. Today, the Cleveland Guardians and the Milwaukee Brewers will meet for the final time here in 2023. The clubs are very similar in a lot of ways. Milwaukee at 39 and 37, second place in the NL Central. Cleveland in second place in the AL Central. They're trailing front running Minnesota by one game, but Cleveland has won five out of their last six ball games. Aaron Savali is on the hill today for Cleveland. Man, has he been pitching well since he missed two months with the oblique injury. He has faced Milwaukee twice in his career and it has not gone well. He's 0-1 against the Brewers and in nine innings of work has given up seven runs against Milwaukee. And Christian Yelich strolling to the plate to get this one started. The series finale between the Brewers and Yelich with a ground ball back up the middle and into center field for a base hit and that's a good start for Billy George as the Brewers have their leadoff man aboard. Brewers have first and second with two outs now for Anderson. Swing and a miss. Chase to cutter off the plate. Anderson strikes out. And the inning is over. First strikeout for Suvale. We played half an inning here in Cleveland. Brewers nothing and the Guardians coming up. Burns without the flowing locks. Threw a no hitter in this ballpark almost two years ago. He went eight no hit innings and Josh Hader worked the ninth. Had 14 strikeouts and a walk in eight innings. One away for Ahmed Rosario. One and oh on Rosario the pitch. Lifted in the air shallow right field. Monasterio the second baseman is out. Oh he dropped the baseball. Picks it up now he throws to second and they got him at second. Rosario trying to take advantage of Monasterio dropping that pop up in shallow right. Tried to get a second bag out of it and Monasterio very astutely picked it up and fired it to Adamas and Adamas applied the tag so they get the out out of it anyway. No score second inning. Andrew Monasterio hitting 243 with a homer and four RBIs and the pitch is waved at. He's got another strikeout. Boy that devastating stating curveball of his second strikeout two down here in the second here's Blake Perkins switch hitter in left field today he'll swing it left handed two outs nobody on no score the 2 2 swing and a miss got him on a curveball mm -mm -mm. Aaron Savali's got it going today doesn't he three strikeouts no score Corbin Burns to face Josh Naylor we are scoreless in the bottom of the second Naylor he's having an all-star season Ooh, well there's a drive right field back goes Anderson still going back goodbye an eight pitch at bat for Josh Naylor ends up with a home run to right center field his 10th of the year and his 57th run batted in and it puts the Guardians on top one to nothing and Josh Naylor's incredible run continues he is hitting over 400 the last 22 games and it's one nothing Cleveland on the Josh Naylor home run Joey Weimer Joey at first he's got himself a leadoff single that'll bring up Christian Yelich single to center to start this game and a line drive base hit into the gap Weimer is going to be running around third they're going to try and score him the relay will not happen Brewers have tied it on an RBI double by Christian Yelich and just like that the Brewers tie the ball game up after the home run from Naylor and all of a sudden the Brewers come back here nobody out here's Owen Miller fly ball hit into right field backing up Arias back over his head that's going to hit off the base of the right field fence Yelich around third he'll score throw comes into second Miller might have been out but the shortstop Rosario couldn't handle the throw and Owen is safe it's a go ahead RBI double and the Brewers have a two to one lead in the third welcome back to Cleveland Owen Miller first pitch he saw there from from Savale and he drove it to the opposite field just had Yelich done the pitch before and the batter will be Rowdy Telez. Miller at second the 0-2 line drive ripped into right center field for a base hit that one is played on a hop by Arias but around third comes Miller he will score the third run of the inning Rowdy Telez stops it first with a run scoring single and the Brewers having a good go of it here in the third they've got a three to one lead and that one on a two strike pitch it was a curveball that hung right up in the happy zone for Rowdy Telez three in the books Milwaukee three Cleveland one and now the Brewers have it 
working again. First and third, nobody out, already leading three to one. Weimer singled his first time up. There goes the runner for second. Pitch, swing and a miss. Throw through to second base, and in, not in time. Perkins was safe. Then his hand came off the bag, but he got it back in there in time. A stolen base for Blake Perkins, staying at third. Monasterio, still nobody out. The Guardians are thinking about a challenge on that call, and Terry Francona is going to ask him to do it. The umpires in New York are going to take a look. They might have gotten the glove to him before he got back to the bag, but I don't think there's any evidence. Perkins did a little swim move after his hand became disengaged with second base. It was the second baseman Jimenez trying to tag him. It's a big call, too, because if Perkins is safe, he got second and third, nobody out, and a chance at another big inning. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Yeah. The runner is out. Cleveland will retain their challenge. And I mean, it is by a millisecond that the glove gets on the left hand right as the right hand is getting to the bag and maybe just a moment before it. And so now you've got Monasterio at third but one out. The infield comes all the way in on a 1-2 count to Joey Weimer. The 3-2 pitch. Fly ball hit in the left should be deep enough to get the runner in as Stephen Kwan settles underneath it, makes the catch momentum coming forward and makes a good strong throw to the plate. But Monasterio is in there. Slides, no tag applied by Naylor. It's a sacrifice fly for Weimer, and the Brewers add run number four. Four to one in the fourth. So we go to the bottom of six, four to one crew. Ramirez works a walk, and that's how the sixth inning will begin against Burns. One away now with a man at first for Andres Jimenez. In the air, right center field, and is going, going, and is going to short hop the wall. Around third, flying home is Jose Ramirez. The throw to the plate is not nearly in time. Jimenez in the third with an RBI triple, and that's now his fourth triple of the year. And it's a 4-2 to two ball game. And so Cleveland now has cut the lead to two, and they've got a runner at third with one out here in the sixth. Outside, he walked Tyler Freeman. And now Will Brennan will bat with the runners at the corners. The set, the pitch. And it bounces to the backstop. The wild pitch will score Jimenez and put Freeman to second. He keeps running. He goes all the way to third. Boy, Caratini took his time going to the backstop to get that wild pitch. And Freeman alertly never stopped running. And now the tying runs 90 feet from home. Two walks and a triple in the inning along with a wild pitch now. Infield in the pitch. Swing and a little looper into left field. Coming on Perkins, it drops. It's a base hit. He pulled up short. And the RBI single to left by Brennan. And we've got a tie ball game just like that. Three runs across here in the sixth. Perkins came charging in at the last moment. He held up and then played it into a single. Cleveland's got a chance to walk it off. 4-4 in the middle of the ninth. Williams and out away from getting this one to extra innings. And why not? It's been a great series between these two teams. Here's Ahmed Rosario. 4-4 in the ninth. He's one for four with a double. A swing and a long drive to deep left field. This one is going to be caught on the run by Perkins. And we've got extra innings. Cleveland and Milwaukee 4-4 after nine. Number nine hitter Joey Weimer begins the inning at second. You better pay attention to him. Here's Owen Miller. One for four today. RBI double to right center. And the pitch driven out towards left field. Backing up onto the warning track. Kwan can't get it. It's off the top of the fence. Weimer's going to come in and score. Miller slides in safely and the Brewers have the lead. Owen Miller missed a home run by a mere couple of feet. Brewers have a 5-4 to four lead in the 10th. Owen Miller with a pair of RBI doubles today. Today, one to right center and then pounded that one to left center. Well, Cleveland's got a score one to tie it and two to walk it off. Five to four, Milwaukee. Back to back punch outs against the two most potent Cleveland batters for Piguero to begin the bottom of the 10th inning. Ramirez chasing, Naylor chasing, two out and one more big one needed. Popped him up, foul coming off the mask. The catcher, Caratini, he's got a play right next to the batter's box. Caratini squeezes it, and the ball game is over. Elvis Peguero's first major league save was a fantastic one. And Owen Miller is the hero in his return to Cleveland. Brewers win it 5-4-10, and, and they've taken the series from the Guardians.